Okay, I'm going to give you a quick lowdown on how you can put captions on your videos on your YouTube videos. There are ways to go about doing it on a QuickTime video that's uploaded, uh, but YouTube, YouTube really is trying to court people to put videos on their site with this technique because it's really simple. The only amount of work that you're going to have to put into it is actually typing out the transcript uh, to uh, what's being said in the video. So here I have a video that's already loaded. Um, it's the Penn State Laureate, Robin Becker. She's uh, doing some poetry readings. I lucked out because in this project that I worked on, she actually had the, the poems written out and everything extemporaneously that she said, she actually wrote out for us. So it was made quite simple. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna bring up a document or create a document that has the written text that uh, will be said in the video. And in this case, it will be writing lessons. So I'm gonna open it up, it's a simple text document, okay? Now, what you need to do here is, a lot of times in your, your text document, if you use apostrophes, percent signs, anything of that nature, um, the software for YouTube will have some difficulty. And a lot of times, uh, you'll get gibberish, you'll get, you know, like if you, create a URL that has apostrophes, you get percent signs and things of that nature or spaces. What you want to do here is we want to copy this and we want to open up a program called Text Wrangler. Text Wrangler and a new version is uh, available. I'm going to install it right now as we speak. Uh, Text Wrangler is free. Uh, it's a quick download, uh, and as you see, they send you notices for, uh, for uh, updates and so forth. So I'm going to uh, download that, and I'm going to open up a new document, and all I need to do is go activate that document and just press Apple V. Here is what I brought over from that text document. And it could be a word, it could be a pages, it could be any text manipulation software document, generated document out there, as long as you can copy and paste. Um, the only thing here is I see this white line and I'm not really sure about how this program exactly works. I just know it does what it's supposed to do for me. But since they've actually drawn this line between the white of the paper and the gray space, I try to keep everything on the white of the paper. So I've got this, this is exactly what she says. So what I wanna do is I want to save this document, oh, I'm sorry, before I save the document, I wanna highlight it all, and then I wanna to go to text and zap gremlins. Zapping the gremlins will go about getting rid of all those apostrophes, spaces, and errant things that um, the computer or the software won't accept or understand. Um, I make sure that I have zap characters on delete, all of this right here is checked, and I just say zap. If there's anything going on with it, you'll see things move, but usually it's just one or two and it's, it's really nondescript, okay? So you have that, you want to save as, and what I'm going to save it as is test case, and I'll save that. Yes, I'm gonna replace the previous test case, and I will quit Text Wrangler. I will move that off, and I'll bring on the video. Now I have this video, it's already loaded. Um, you can press play. You can hear the music in the background. That's cool, so stop. So as you can see, she'll talk. Horse, horseback riding lessons and the instructor-student relationship that took place through those lessons. Okay, so I wanna stop that. All right, let's bring it back to the beginning. Uh, let's go to edit caption in subtitles. You click that. It brings you to this page right here. It looks a little bit different from your normal viewing page. Uh, it's really not for you to view, except for it's there to put up subcaptions, or subtitles, I'm sorry. Um, the, the thing with uh, YouTube, and they're trying to get the software better, they have a thing where they'll actually transcribe it, the machine will recognize the speech and it'll print out. Usually, I'd say eight times out of 10, they're just horrific errors. Um, it just can't identify all speech as of yet. But what you want to do is you want to go to Add Caption Track, Add New Captions. This is really important. You don't want to put up a caption file, okay? Because that's a way of doing it uh, similar to how you would do it if you just had a QuickTime file. You want to make it as easy as possible. Go to Transcript File, okay? 
I'm going to choose that file and it was on our desktop it was called test case we can click that and we say choose okay uh, we want to make sure that it's in uh, English but we're good there and you just say uh, upload file this will take a few moments and we're probably going to end up skipping ahead to uh, to after it's done but when it's done you'll see how it works okay it's done too stay tuned okay now you can see after it's finished it recognizes that there's an English track there because I told it, it was English click it's not I don't think it's smart enough to identify English from Chinese from Spanish and so on but you've got them and you, if you uploaded something you found out that it didn't work or maybe you put up the wrong file you can always get in there and you can uh, remove it if uh, you want you can download the script for whatever reason but just know that it's there and you, if you want to test it all you need to do is just press this button extracurricular activities expose children to new places people and projects this poem explores horseback riding lessons and the instructor student relationship that took place through those lessons okay so as you can see um, it's right on the money it even changes you know there's no lag time um, for those of you who have actually had to subtitle things uh, in real time back in the old days and I say old days uh, I used to do it at a TV station when I was uh, working at public broadcasting in the 80s. Somebody had to sit there and read along with the person as they said what they said, and it was lag time for that. But there was no lag time in this uh, scenario. So that's essentially it. And, um, you know, best case scenario is that you can actually watch the video to make sure that it is indeed, in fact, keeping up and there are no loose, you know, loose cannons in there as far as uh, gibberish or... Or, or characters that it didn't understand but uh, like I said I've had 99% effectiveness with the software. Alright, good luck.